And the CDC has gone and actually made me despair even more about this thing ever ending. And that's why I wanted to just mention something that probably... I have a feeling probably everyone here already knows about. Speaking of the CDC. Um, but it's just really important to understand it for people who are trying to get a handle on what their risk is. See, the CDC has a map called Community Levels. You look at this, it looks actually relatively... See, they specifically avoid using red. They use, like, fucking Starburst Orange. Um, and they call this Community Levels. And the thing is, and people are led to believe that this is something they can use to uh, assess their risk for at get, of getting COVID in their local community, and it's bullshit. This is primarily based on hospitalization rates, which are known as a lagging indicator. They're a lagging indicator because there's a certain lapse of time between people getting COVID and getting hospitalized for it. And the thing is, that is, and knowing how many people have ended up in hospital for it is useless if you're trying to figure out what your risk is of getting it at all. So you see this wonderful little map. It's actually very reassuring colors. It's mostly, it says medium and low. Okay, now let me show you. They still have a community transmission map. This is the community transmission map. And you remember how Nevada was that beautiful, uh, soothing green color, and Colorado, and um, fucking Utah, and a fair bit of uh, Arizona. Well, now look at it over here. It is redder. Uh, it is redder than Caleb Maupin's face when he encounter. He finds out he's debating somebody who's actually red marks. I mean, and the thing to remember about this is that despite the fact that it is more reliable, it actually measures the thing that you want to know, which is how, what's your likelihood just breathing the air in your community that you're going to get fucking COVID. But it's still a massive undercount because we're basically, at this point, most there's very little testing going on. There was never much testing to begin with. I mean, the uh, Eric Topol, who is definitely worth following on this. Um, he he is a, um, a doctor, researcher, and medical communicator. I guess he could say who has tended to get these things right when uh, pretty much every other voice in the media was getting the wrong. He called it flying blind, and that was in 2020. And what you gotta know is that there's actually less monitoring going on now. As disgustingly bad as the monitoring was in 2020, there is less of it now. Because people are getting these tests at home, and those don't get recorded. So that means if you, te if you, go to, if you test positive at home, and then you go to work, because you're supposed to go to work, because come hell or high water, you need to be churning out that fucking surplus value for your bosses, you get somebody sick, and they get somebody sick, and none of this is getting recorded. Yeah, I well, um, CDC also has wastewater surveillance too, but the thing is that some cities have decided to stop uh, stop participating in that. Like, I don't know if it ended up happening, but Eric Adams, around the time that COVID was exploding yet again in New York, since his strategy of Batting COVID with just the big dick energy of the Big Apple surprisingly failed. Um, I remember New York City was supposed to be withdrawing from wastewater monitoring. So, and there are some counties where the wastewater, where it's uh, septic tank based, like where I am here, a lot of the wastewater goes into septic tanks, so that's not really getting monitored at all. But yeah, where that's still going on, it's one of the best indicators we have, even though it can't really tell you how many people who have got it, and it can at least tell you how much of it is being shat out into the sewerage. Yeah. It's amazing that sick days are like a fucking act of grace that they, if for an emergency. 
when, I mean, this is just a basic fucking thing. People get sick and they can't work, and it's probably better if they don't give it to other people. And, uh, you know, like, there are places where the idea of having a set number of fucking sick days is simply unheard of. Oh, well, you also have the same first name as that, as, uh, what's her name, who fucking, who got the pail of water with Jack, and I think she came out ahead in that, so, I mean, you got that going for you, so, okay, so, we've talked about how just completely full of shit the CDC is on this, and how... I mean, they actively discourage people from looking at this uh, this comparatively accurate map. They say, oh, this is for healthcare facilities only. You should look at the community levels. And the community levels are a load of shit.